Hello, everybody, and um, sorry about that ping in the background. Um, I'll inform you guys on what that is um, in a few days. Um, but uh, what are we doing today? Okay, so it's a bit. Uh, it's ten o'clock in the morning right now, and um, I am doing that Cenozoic uh, speculation that people have been. Uh, calling for for a little bit and um yeah so if you haven't watched it yet Um, I did do a Mesozoic speculation video, but um, for those who may comment um, certain species, I'll fill you in on the species that Prehistoric Kingdom currently has um, on the conveyor belt um, in terms of Cenozoic creatures. So the ones we have right now in the game are the Woolly Mammoth, the Smilodon, the Woolly Rhino, Paraceratherium, and to come later, are Megatherium, Deodon, Cave Bear, Megaloceros, Giant Bison, and Deodon. So, uh, oh, Hyenodon, I mean. Um, I already said Deodon. But those are the 10 mammals Prehistoric Kingdom currently has um, on the <laughs> um, timeline right now. But let's have a look at what else could possibly be added. So we start with the Paleocene and Eocene, and what species are possible. The giant turtle car car Carbonemus. I almost said, oh, said Corbonemus, but no, it's Carbonemus. I, I played Jurassic World Alive. <laughs> I should know. I should know what this thing is. Um, Titanoboa, the giant snake. Uintotherium. Masonyx, which is a whale. Ancestor, Megacerops, Arsinoetherium, Leptictidium, Eohippus, Barry Lambda, Ambulocetus, Gastornis, Basilosaurus, Pachycetus, Andrusarchus, Oxyena, Presbyornis, Nothartus, Dorodon, Mirotherium. And moving on to the Oligocene, which the Paraceratherium and Juxia we just got come from. We have Archaeotherium, Calicotherium, Protoceros. Subharacodon, Hesperocyon, Pelagornis, Maracoidodon, Peltephalus. The Miocene, which was when mammals um, started to get really, um, really adaptable, <laughs> I, I should say, to more different environments. 
opponents. So we have Morapus, Synthetoceros, Odobinocetops, Thyrcosmiles. I think I just missed one. Um, damn it. Purasaurus, um, um, Amabelodon, Baronosuchus, Leviathan, Magistotherium, and onto the Pliocene, everyone knows who this guy is, Megalodon. Um, it may not be a mammal, but that doesn't really matter too much. It's from the Cenozoic and would be fantastic to see. As well as Macrokenia, Homotherium, Titanus, Euclidoceros, Paleoloxodon, and Dinotherium. Um, I'm, I, I hope many of you guys have, have watched Walk with Beasts before, because um, if not, you may not know what the hell most of those species are. <laughs> so, um, hopefully you have. Um, Carnus Dyrus, the dire wolf, as it's also known. Uh, Castoroides, the giant beaver. Glyptodon and Dedicurus, giant armadillos. Thylacolio, or the marsupial lion. Pantherospelia, the Eurasian cave lion. Elasmotherium, the giant ice age rhinoceros with one horn. On one single giant horn on its head. Megalonyx, a ground sloth from North America, which was the inspiration for Sid the Sloth in the Ice Age series. Um, the American Mastodon. Megalania, or the giant goanna from Australia. Giant wombat, the protodon. Um, the short-faced kangaroo, procoptodon. Giraffe relative Civitherium. And Toxodon, a species um, discovered by Charles Darwin on his trip to South America. As well as the Colombian Mammoth, the largest um, land mammal to have walked America. Teratornus, a large bird of prey. And Argentavis, for those who've played Ark, you know what this is. And finally, the Holocene, with species that have become extinct due to human activity. The dodo, we've got to have a dodo. Harpagornis, the giant eagle of New Zealand. The thylacine. The giant mower. And the quagger. And that is um, all we have for the Cenozoic right now. Um, those are all the species that I would personally add to the games for diversity's sake. Um, let me know if you've got any extras that you would like to see. I just wanted to make this quick and snappy because, um, yeah, I'm still recovering from a bit of jet lag. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.